Pulapaka, and I am thrilled to welcome you all to Yuva Sangeetha Margam's first ever quiz show on all things Karnatic. Some things Karnatic. Obviously, we can't cover everything in a half an hour episode, um, but it's going to be really exciting. So we have three contestants lined up to play today, playing his violin all the way from Singapore to New Zealand to sunny Brisbane. It's Ashwin Narayan. <laughs> He sings, he plays. We haven't seen him in many days. It's Dilip Brahmaswamy. Hello, hi everyone. And finally, he's a fantastic Mridangist. He was a founding member of YSM and then he left us to go live in Melbourne. So it's Bala Shankar. <laughs> yeah. I just want to give everyone a bit of a disclaimer. This quiz. Um, it's just an attempt to have a bit of lighthearted fun, especially during our extensive COVID lockdowns here in Australia. So try not to take it too seriously. And of course, please know that we all have the utmost respect for Karnatic music and the many Mahanu Bhavalu that have obviously propagated it to this day. That being said, let's get started. Don't be alarmed if you see some steam or you hear some whistling today because we'll be putting these contestants through the pressure cooker. You can play along at home as well. Just grab a pen and paper and see if you can beat these guys scores. So here's how the quiz will generally work. We'll have a few different rounds where the players can earn or lose points. For any answers that are interesting, ridiculous or just straight up hilarious, I'll give you a sabash. At the end of the um, whole game, the winner is obviously the one with the most points, but someone will also be given the glory of being crowned Sabash King. Round one, Sangeetha Jnana Mu. General knowledge round. Five questions for each of you. For this round, the scoring system is going to work like this. If you get a correct answer, you'll be awarded 10 points. If you get an incorrect answer, we will deduct 20 points. If you steal someone else's answer, you could earn yourself a sneaky Sabash and the person who was meant to answer the question will earn nothing. That's exactly what I'm going to aim for. It's exactly what one of them gets to do. You just wait for everyone else to do their thing and jump in and... Cut them off. Nice, nice. Question one. What is a ragam called or classified as when the Aruhanam and Avaruhanam each have five distinct swaras? Out of out of. Question two. Name a Suladi Saptatalam that would give you 18 beats. 1 8, 18. Uh, Kanda, Kanda Jati uh, Adatalam. Oh, no, 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 no. Going for the steal? No, that's not my file. Uh, sorry, Mr. Mr. <laughs> Dali Adatalam. Ah. <laughs> uh. Question three. Can you name three Janya Ragas of Maya Malavatola? Oh, Saveri Malahari. Um, Bauli? Question four. Skwana Bedam. What Ragam would you get after adding a Kaishiki Nishadam to our bogey? Um, Sri Rantani. And final question for you. Who composed the Kriti Vatapi Ganapatim? Yes. Yeah. Oh, bro. Ashwin's going to win. Ashwin, you're a gun. You're a gun. I'm Hello. still trying to work out what other Dalam is like 18 beats. <laughs> Carlos okay. misled me. He said it was some really enjoyable, fun kindergarten quiz. It's a walk in the park for you, man. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bala, you ready? <laughs> Question one. What is a ragam called or classified as when the swadas of the aruhanam or avaruhanam are non-sequential? Vakraram. Uh, well done. Question two. Name a suladi saptatalam that would give you 12 beats. This is embarrassing. Um, Chatusra jati aratalam. I'll give you the point. Name three Karnatic instruments that cannot be tuned. Cannot be tuned. Uh, Ganjira, Gatam, and Nadaswam. 
Okay, okay. I'll give it to you. Number four, Swarabedam. What is the Prati Madhyamam equivalent of Chalanata? Uh, Kadyut Kanti. It's not, but it's a good guess. Can I? Can someone steal? Yeah, you can jump in, steal it. Is it? Oh, is it Rasiga Priya? Yes, correct. Yeah. Correct. Well done. And lastly, Bala, who composed the Kriti Yenatavam Shedane? Um, anyone else? Can you steal? Yeah. Is it, I don't know, I'm going to guess. Is it, I don't know, Sam, 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 Okay, all right, well, well done. That's the end of your five questions. And we come to Dilip. Are you ready, Dilip? Yeah, yeah, in advance, I want to apologize to all my previous teachers if they ever watch this. And they are very disappointed in the non responses that I give. So that's <laughs> my apology in advance. I hope that stays in the recording so they listen to this. <laughs> all right, question one. What is a ragam called or classified as when the aruhanam and avaruhanam each have six distinct swaras? Sharava Sharava. Who gave me that answer? Ah, okay, interesting. All right, well done. It is Sharava. Oh, damn it. Boom! B dot's back. I was just about to say that. Damn. <laughs> oh, not just the Murdangis. Thank you very much. This is a competitive or faster than internet connection, I think. <laughs> 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 right, <that's true. laughs> Name a Suladi Saptatalam that would give you 17 beats. 1 7, 17. I've got no idea. Um, does anyone want to steal? <laughs> no idea. Yes, well done. Bala gets the point. <clears throat> All right, sorry. This, no, he this quiz is way better than I expected. Sabash, man. Sabash. Sabash. You remember that guess that it's all a Talam question that I would get excited. No, no, sorry. Ashwin, I, I retired several years ago. Several. You have the old music knowledge that has been lost. He has the Nyanam. Uh, still, can't, still can't work out who wrote Yanatavam yeah, Sayvan, but anyway. I think it's the Dark of Fatiban kind of. Oh, you Wait, do we... I'm not going to get points we... for this. It's Papanasam Sivan. Idiot. Oh, yeah. Stupid fellow. Yeah. Yeah, because I remember Barak Mormon saying it at one of those, like, at, at yeah. one of those, con you know, um, he's a lot. Where it was, yeah, he still loved that song. Yeah, I should have known Papanasam Sivan. <laughs> End my misery. <laughs> Question three. Can you name three Janyaragas of Hari Pamboji? Um, Kambodhi? Yeah. Um, Man. Anyone want to grab a sabash? <laughs> Three Janyaragas of Hakimamboshi. What else is there? I mean, there are two others, but um, I'm going blank. Uh, does anyone else have an idea? Yeah, um, Kedar Garda? Okay, that's about it. Nice. Thomas, I guess? Yeah. I'll There's give you too that. many controversial yeah. genomes of Hari Kambodji that I can think yeah, of. Yeah, exactly. As long as it can technically be taken from Hari Kambodji, I'll give it to you. So, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you want the complete Sabash, can you give me one more, Raghav? Oh, me? 
Uh, oh, why did I do this to myself? Not only. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay, question yeah. four. Do I get the sabash? We're only at four. Oh, yeah, God. you get the sabash. I, I was just playing Ravi Sunday yes. this morning. I could have just done that. <laughs> There's actually loads, but it's te yeah. technicality. It's a bit tricky. Anyway. Question four. Swarabedam. What is the Prati Madhyamam equivalent of Kiravani? Samantha Madhyam? Yes, correct. Cool. And question five, who composed the Kriti Narayana Ninna? Namada. Smaraneya. Ramavichandra. Um, was it Mutuswami Dikshita? No. Do I give you the right answer? Does anyone know? Shama Sastri? Dude. <laughs> I don't, know, I don't know if the negative points cumulatively add up, I don't know. Um, <laughs> One question. We need an all or nothing round at the end where it counts for like a hundred points. <laughs> like, like in Jeopardy. Can you give us a, can you give us a clue, Mamata? Like, okay, no points, but just for the fun of it, let's, let's go with a clue. Um, all right. So this one um, was pre-Trinity. Pre-Trinity. Yeah, yeah. Oof. I based that entirely off your clue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good call. Nice. I, I gotta be honest, I got I got the easy end of the stick for the composers especially. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were all popular songs. I thought they were all decent. They are. We remember the songs. We just don't remember the composers. That's actually <laughs> yeah. terrible. Everyone knows my love is my dick. So the other two are so rare. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. My goodness. It actually goes to show as well that we like we tend to I mean this is a statement and a comment but we still tend to um just focus a lot on trinity compositions and it's actually you know there's so many other interesting compositions by so many other um very profound mahans but yeah I don't know we we, we just we don't 100%. study them as hard and we should acknowledging that 100 percent so that's the end of round one uh we have Ashwin in the lead with a positive 20 points, uh, Bala at negative 10 points, and Dilip at negative 80 points. <laughs> oh man, are we, are we, is this golf scoring though? Because otherwise, uh, that's a good score for me. Oh, that's yeah. not too far. We got it. Dilip, we got it. You only need 100 to catch up. <laughs> that's we'll it. it. Uh, before we go to round two, I have a question for you guys. What is a skeleton's favorite Varnam? It's a popular one. Oh, <laughs> oh no very bony. Are you? Oh, yeah. Very bony. Very bony. <laughs> yes. I do, yo. Vale. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, round two. Let's do this. Question one Who said this and why? Unilever, please come clean up your mess and try and keep it up to international standards. I will say the way that I said it is not the way it was originally said. We need a we need a accurate uh, re reproduction of the. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I will say it in a in an attempt to be more true to the original form. <clears throat> Unilever, please come clean up your mess and try to keep it up to international standards. Oh, that helps so much. Hmm. I feel like it's like Sunday Subramanian went through this phase of like not wearing deodorant. So I'm <laughs> like that deodorant thing is like the Unilever thing. Lynx, Axe, you know. Um, and I feel like someone just giving a, a little bit of advice, you know. Uh, but then the international standards thing, that's really interesting. I don't know how that yeah. fits in. I, I, I thought uh, on, on that note, I thought it might, there's, it's got a bit of TM Krishna vibe to it. Um, a, Ooh. you know, make a statement like that that's going to generate... Wait, Dilip, why? Is it slightly controversial? 
Maybe. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not controversial. It's actually this is a like this is something that everyone will get behind. But I reckon it uh, my if I had to guess it, I would have my first guess would have been Tim Krishna. But I guess Sanjay Subramanian is also a very good guess for the reasons you gave. But I don't know. Are these are these our answers, or we're just I hypothesizing mean, at the moment? But we're, happy to give me we're your discussing. Answer, yeah. We might have to lock something in. Bala's, uh, Bala's explanation is so convincing. I I want to believe it. <laughs> this is the wrong segment for that. But <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I'm very good at coming up with stories that may be slightly inaccurate to reality. I see. I'm, I'm getting a, um, a picture for the next uh, round. I think. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, look. I'll accept the answer that it was T M Krishna because that's correct. Oh, oh, after oh. such a good story. <laughs> oh. But Sabash for the story. That's 100%. like not being that's like not being called the Yeram before the main. It's like Italy <laughs> Hey, sorry. I, I must have the, the connection must have died out, but I heard you said it was a hundred points if you get it right during this round. Oh. Was that right? Oh. Oh, get it out of here. <laughs> God Bala, we've got to be Even if it was my, my line went out at that point, but I assume it's 100. So I'm probably in the lead now on 20 points, right? Sounds good. All right, cool. Let's just lead on that basis. All right, let me give you a bit of context because no one seems to know. <laughs> it was TM Krishna who said that line, Unilever, please come clean up your mess and try and keep it up to international standards. And this was part of a rap that he was doing um, called Kore Kano Still Won't. And the whole point of the rap song, um, it was made by TMK, so Sophia Ashraf and Amrit Rao. And the point was to raise awareness about Unilever, which had which had a thermometer plant in Kodai Kanal, and it was spewing toxic waste and causing a lot of contamination in the area. And they were trying to get Uni Unilever to clean up their act and stop being environmentally racist. Cool. Okay, question yeah. two. A movie was released on Netflix in 2018 centered on percussion in Carnatic music. What was the name of this movie? And can you name two anything else? <laughs> uh, can you can name, you name sorry, what's the last bit of the question? Can you name Musicians. two musicians who appeared in cameo roles? But at this point I'll just if you can name the movie I'll give you a point. Sarvam Talamayam. Correct. Do you know who the um, cameo role musicians might have been it's i've actually saved it to my list my watch list in netflix i haven't actually seen it so this is problematic but i'm <laughs> gonna just take a stab and say um Umayana Puram Sivaraman and um and i'm gonna go with uh I know, I know one of, I don't know if there was a percussion star, because I remember that, I think it was Aparna Balamurli, but, I, but she's not one of the, she wasn't the percussion star, but right? She was just, she's like uh, a internet. actress. I first read like, who was that? Aparna, uh, I think it's Balamurli. Yes, I remember that name, yes. But I don't know <laughs> the others. All right. Cool. We'll just take half points, Bala. <laughs> um, so I yeah, definitely Mayal Puram Shivaraman was involved with the movie. Um, in the actual movie itself, there's a concert scene with Kanjira Purushottam and Sumesh Narayan makes an appearance as well as one of the characters, which is interesting. So that was a new obviously. Cool point. <clears throat> yes, obviously. Duh. Um, but that comes to the that we're at the end of round two with those two questions. I'm gonna ask you another question for fun. What's a kangaroo's favorite thalam? Jumper thalam. Yes. Oh, Dilip, Sabash, Malay. There's <laughs> one more that I'll accept. There's one more I'll accept. Rupa katalam. Rupa katalam. Oh, nice. Love it. Love it. <laughs> beautiful but this is one of the this is one of the greatest things i'll i'll share about being an artist and my fellow artists and uh, you know and all uh, the many great artists um young and old that i've had a chance to perform with but 
there are conversations much like is happening in this quiz there are conversations that happen on stage that the rest of the audience can't hear but they can feel it because it adds to the energy of the concert right and so it's all about building that rapport and just bouncing off each other and all those little jokes and those little comments that happen on stage sometimes the comments can go the other way and you can bring the vibe down but more often than not um as long as you haven't annoyed somebody you tend to really build the atmosphere of the concert and it's one of the most exciting and enjoyable things about being an artist um and you know that's kind of really what drew me to um being a mrudungist as well because you get to interact with people and bounce off them and look for all the little things that you know um that might be able to just add to the enjoyment of the co concert at atmosphere so i just i thought i'd share that to just you know give everyone a bit of a flavor um aspiring artists um you know shout out to all the people that have um had a, an opportunity to perform with and also stall while goes to uh practices his addition skills thank you bala <laughs> always here for you man and ashwin is in the lead on 20 points with bala following not too far behind on minus 30 points heading in the right direction for once dilip ramaswamy going from minus 80 points to minus 50 This has got to be the most confusing points table, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. It makes sense. It makes sense. Maybe we'll have like a quick flash of a flow chart or something, so you can pause, figure it out. So Don't just, worry. Just, just take the sabashes and divide them by the ahas and the mm, yes, and then Square you get it. the first one. Yeah. Love, love it. Uh, AFL, AFL actually suddenly makes so much sense to me. <laughs> Uh, we they have goals and behinds we have sabashes and points uh carnatic uh, musicians right. can ruin anything i think <laughs> that's it the improvisational skills are through the roof bonus round caption this strong or copy potta thangala that's what it is strong nice nice mine is a uh, when your life depends on making the final carom shot great believe you are great <laughs> thank you sir and um, the guy the guy behind him the tambura man is like he's not going to make it he's not going to make it he's not getting that shot that's the winner he's going to he's going to oh, that's so good what have you got ashu what's your oh yeah, it's it's tough yeah, that's very that's how tough to be that <laughs> guys <laughs> I don't know if he um... Tikil Gurucharan plays world's tiniest violin. Oh god, Bala, you I can we you can't compete with you. I'll give you the thumbs up. It's just like a super aggressive chef's kiss. He's like the soul oh, that's yeah. so true. He's very emotive. That's yeah. a hell of a copy. I love it. Hell of a copy. <laughs> All right. Um awesome. Um I have another question for you before we go to the actual next round. What's a mime's favorite ragam? Mona ragam. Yeah, Mona ragam. Huh? Is it not a movie? Yeah, it is. <laughs> you get that one Ashwin. So yours. Bali. You're going to you're going to kick yourself because the answer is Kapi. Oh you yo. <laughs> I've only said that three times in the last 45 seconds. Oh. I thought this was the best one to put in right here. Know, no way it was Very that nice. cuz he just said it. <laughs> What's so up preempted it then, Shawy? Uh. <laughs> It's for the <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, you get the sabash number that. Round 3. Would I lie to you? Each contestant will give us a statement about an incident that happened to them related to a kacheri performance that they did. It's then up to the other two contestants to figure out whether the statement was the truth or whether it was a lie. Points will be given according to a very confusing set of rules. Just trust us. So, <laughs> first up, let's hear from Ashwin. I prepared a 10-minute piece for a 1-hour slot. I once prepared a 10 minutes. 1 hour. 
Oh, now that makes me wonder whether it happened more than once. I'm going to say... You can ask him questions about it. So when was this? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this was a couple of years ago. I'd say, uh, let's say six years ago. Six years ago. Was it part of a festival or something like that? Oh, so uh, it was in Auckland. The Auckland Museum was having a Ramayana exhibit. Uh, there was a tabla teacher who was uh, trying to get us to ask, ask me to play something. So uh, I was like, yeah, sure, I'll prepare, prepare a song. And uh, when I went there, I finished my song and he was like, Oh yeah, it's um we've got another like fifteen minutes to go, yeah. Oh, damn. Uh, I was just doing some cross examination. Mr. Narayan, where was the Ramayan where was the Ramayan position during the performance? Ramayan the position, it was a museum exhibit, so it was a bunch of like pictures and stuff in the other halls. So this was like a gallery area. Right. Well, Your Honor. Dilip's a lawyer, by the way, Ashwin, so he, he, he does that part-time aside from his violin career. Well, um, and, and aside from my uh, wide, expansive knowledge of um, Kannadic Ragams and general knowledge. So um, I'm going to then ask, how did you fill in the rest of the time? Yeah. Yeah, so um, uh, I, I thought about the last song I was listening to on the radio on the way there, and I thought, wait, I'll just take this line, and I sort of did a Pallavi thing. Um, <laughs> yeah. And what and Talam was the Pallavi? I started in uh, what I thought was Adi Talam, but it turned into this room, so it was cool. Like, I've never done a this room Pallavi till then. So <laughs> that. that actually makes it sound slightly more ridiculous, but slightly more believable at the same time. Yeah. Savash. Yeah, yeah. Wait, so you, you, you sang for 10 minutes and then I played, played that was all. So you played for 10 minutes, you had 50 minutes to go. And are you saying that you ended up playing for 50 more minutes, but you didn't have anything prepared? Is that what you're telling yeah. me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I, I didn't mention uh, there, was a, there was another student, there was a junior student who was playing with me as well. So we'd practiced the 10 minute song and I turned to him and said, Oh, just just uh, just wing it. Just do whatever we're doing, and he just followed along as well. And he was like so confused. How old is the junior student? Where is this really specific detail suddenly coming from and omitted up to any point in this story? Yeah, yeah. So he he, he was there as well. Yeah. Uh, so he 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 followed in too. Yep. And so was uh, the pretty... tabla teacher playing with you? Yep, he. Th that's that's part of the reason why the talum shifted because I think I was thinking something. But oh, it's always the Bakavadim's fault. Oh, you <laughs> violinists, far out. <laughs> I know all about you. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna join in the interrogation here. If you really did extrapolate this ten minute to fifteen minutes extra, do you remember what the what this improv Pallavi was? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was in it was in Kathi, which was the wagon we were talking about just now. Um, that's very coincidental. Very, yeah, but that question, yeah, yeah, there you go. So um, we ex we did some kalpana swarms. Uh, I just pulled random so lines from different songs that I sort of knew. Uh, luckily, the audience was the only Kanadic person in the audience was the junior teacher's dad. Uh, so everyone else was enjoying it, except he was very confused. So were you wearing a kurta and a veshti? I, I was wearing a kurta and a veshti. No, not a veshti, but a kurta, yeah. Interesting. What color was the kurta? Ooh, I did say it was six years ago. So if I knew it, it'd be more suspicious. Yeah, and what ragam did you play? A kapi, the one we were talking oh, about yes. before. So you remember okay. the kapi? Just checking. Just checking. You remember the, 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 the talam shifted. You remember who was in the audience. But when we ask you if you wore a beige tee, you're like, nah, it's six years ago, I can't remember. Oh, no, no, no. I definitely did not wear a beige tee. I forgot the color of the kurta. Still sounds suspicious. I would never Wait. forget the color of the kurta I was wearing on the day. Would you do? Likewise. No, no way. Yeah. I've only got yeah. one. Why would I ever forget? <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon now? Do you think that Ashwin is telling the truth here or that he's telling a lie? It sounds too credible. I don't know yeah. what you're thinking, Dilip. Like, I mean, the problem is this stuff, this kind of stuff happens to artists all the time. 
Yeah. Like I can literally, as soon as you said, oh, 10 minutes and it turned out to be a 50 minute slot, my brain's going, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate that feeling. I know exactly what that feels yeah. like. Right? But also, I, well, I don't want to get told, I don't want to be told afterwards that it was a lie because it, he practiced for 15 minutes instead of 10. So I'm assuming, right. so I believe it because it's so incredulously unbelievable that it's believable. <laughs> so are you both saying that it's true? Yeah, I'm and six, it's true. six years yeah. ago, I reckon Ashwin wouldn't have had a problem with it. 20 years ago, <laughs> yeah. I reckon Ashwin would have felt a bit yeah. different. <laughs> so I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Ashwin's just that caliber of artist and he's just gonna crack through it. I'm with you, Dil. I yeah. think it's a truth. Yeah. I'm with you. Okay. All right. Well, you're both right. It is true. Ashwin <laughs> did once. Yay! So rock up nice. to a performance to do ten minutes and get stuck there for an hour, playing in a whole extra minute fifty minute slot. Since both of you thought it was true and it was actually true, you'll both get ten points. And Ashwin, you're going to lose 20 points because you got caught. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, per catcher. I'm sorry. 20. Oh, per... oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yo, oh, yo. That's like fail Kateri and review the next day. Yeah. In those hey. times. Hey, so I'm assuming. <laughs> Did you hear it? <laughs> Terrible. Are we ready for story number two from Dilip? I once saw a rat on stage while performing. Was it the main artist? <laughs> Sorry, was it the main artist? No, this was while I was performing. You don't answer, don't answer the question. <laughs> How do you tell the difference between a rat and a mouse? I'll contextualize it by saying I was 13 years old, doing my first Kacheri at Five Dock Sydney Music Circle, represent. And... I will say I assumed it was a rat because at that age, if you see anything even of a marginally bigger than a cockroach, you assume it's a rat. <laughs> I'm actually starting to think it was a cockroach, not a rat. <laughs> so far, I'm tending towards a lie. Sorry, Ashwin, I think you cut, I cut you off before. Where did you see this cockroach? I was actually singing Brova Barama in Bahudari at the time. And it was, I'd say, 75% full of audience. And as I was singing the line, Kalasan Budilo, my eyes turned to the left and scurrying across the ground, just to the left of Sri Rampanyam, my accompanying violinist, I saw a tail. And then just as it went around, it came up and just poked its head above that it looked like it was on, on the stage. And I got the fright of my life, but I had to keep persevering because that's what you do as, as did you, performing did anyone else? Did anyone else notice the rat? So, you know, when you're doing the, when I was doing my talam and I was looking at Siram Panyam, my eyes looked at the rat and he, he was like, what are you looking at? Because his water's there and the, and the sort of the, the animal was behind it. And he's looking at me thinking, what are you looking at? And I didn't want to cause a calamity or any chaos there. So I just turned my eyes back to him, looked at the rat and then turned back to the middle um, center of the stage, back at the audience. I didn't want to create, a, you know, create any chaos, but it was... One of the scariest things I've ever seen in my life. That's interesting. Yeah. I can't believe th those people that don't know Five Dock is is a stage that is about two inches off the ground. Exactly. Like the rest of the ground. And whilst Dilip Ramaswamy seems to suggest that no one else noticed this thing, I, I find it pretty ridiculous to believe that in a 15 meter by 30 meter space, that something that happened on stage didn't spill over into anywhere in the rest of the hall? The five dock stage it's is a... five by four. It's not long. It's not big. No, but the room's small. The yeah, room's the room small. small. Yeah. So I'm saying, like, how could someone else not notice it, Dil? I don't know if the, I, I don't know if many people in the audience noticed it, but I'm saying on stage, we didn't notice it. It was, it was Nirmal, Siram Panyam, and myself on stage. Was I there? You might have been at the back, you know, in the back door when you could go oh, through the back. This is a lie for sure. You were playing violin, right? No, I was singing. Oh, okay. okay. So it, how I, big was I the cockroach? It was... No, it was. It wasn't a cockroach. It was. It was. It, it, it was. I could classify it as a rat. And what color kurta were you? <laughs> <laughs> I've only got one. Why would I forget? 
<laughs> I was wearing my um my one and only beautiful red kurta with a vesti that I was forced to wear. Oh, it says kurta red in color. Is that a fact? I actually thought it was black, to be honest with you. So, you can tell black. Like so this was your first concert, Philippe, and you were 13 years old. First doing as a solo. As a, as, a, as a solo. As a solo, yeah. Oh, good clarification. I do recall we have been on stage together. Because we've, prior to we've that. been on stage many times before that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Often doing things other than singing. Aside from <laughs> what do you guys reckon? I feel like it's a. I don't know about you, Ashwin. I, I'm gonna go with lie. I, I think it's a lie. Uh, I just. I want to say lie because uh, there's too much detail. I feel like it's detail. overcompensating for the simplicity of the rat part. Interesting. At and least I'm like I... a rat at five dock. At five dock, people would have <laughs> noticed even a cockroach. And I feel like I, for one, would have screamed at some point. Which would have caused many other people to react. So, I actually find that unless I was out outside playing handball, which I would never do, of course I would be in the room listening to the concert. You in front row. row. I'm gonna say that's very good nostalgia team. Thanks for bringing that one up, Dilip. That's um that's pretty epic. I'm gonna go with light. I'm gonna go with light. It's a complete light. Right, going with light. Yep, complete light. <laughs> Yes! Uh, Completely. Yeah, using five dock was wrong because the stage is so small. Yeah, that's Everyone's true. Good. That's so good. <laughs> but it's actually mad nostalgia. I respect that. Epic it throwback. Worth, it was worth it, Dilip. Um, Epic throwback. Yeah. I love it. Do you want to tell them what it actually was, Dilip? It was a cockroach. Father, well, you <laughs> called it out straight away. What are you yes! doing? Yes! I was there. You forget. I was there. Remember the bit where I screamed? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh no! I can handle spiders, oh. cockroaches. Nice I don't even it. know if it was Nirmal that was playing Lidinga. I think it's Nirmal. <laughs> sorry, he weren't playing. Um, I'm was sorry. It, was it yeah. actually Bala who was playing? It, it could have been. <laughs> it might have been Bala. Yeah, probably, probably. <laughs> and Dilip's like, oh, anyway, this is hilarious. Dilip remembers the color of the kurta he was wearing. He doesn't have a red kurta. What rubbish! And also, and also, he remembers. <laughs> Kurta he was wearing, but he doesn't remember who played for Naga. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's a um, <laughs> all right. <Anyway>. So, Respect. <laughs> all right. So since it was indeed a lie and that it got caught, um, you two, Ashwin and Bala, will earn tw- 10 points each. And Dilip, you lose 20 points per catcher. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. Oh. Bala, you're on a roll. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Bala, are you ready to tell it's us? Called, what it's called Sarvalagu. <laughs> <laughs> Steady and slow. Alright, go for it. Tell us your story. So, um, this one time, uh, as you guys might know, I've gone to Cleveland to the Aradhana and performed there a fair bit and done some concerts sort of in and around Cleveland as well. Um, this one time when, I, when I'd arrived, I didn't have my my baggage, it, it arrived late and I had to play a concert. So I had to borrow one from Thiruvadu Vaidinathan. Um, when I gave it back, it probably wasn't in the same condition that uh, I got it from him in. Um, so I actually spent, I spent the next three days hiding from him and avoiding him, which led me at one stage for him to come knocking on the door of, of, of my room. Uh, I was I was sharing a room with my Sri Khan and um, I spent about an hour under his bed whilst they were chatting. <laughs> and at one point, I'm pretty sure he said, uh, Srikant, uh, in the Bala, you know, uh, and yeah, uh, it was very, very awkward. So after you were hiding under the bed, what was his response to that question of, have you seen Bala? Bala, I don't know who knows. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Who, who said that? Was it Mysore Srikant? Srikant. Yeah. And you were hiding under his bed. Yeah. But why did he come into the room? Why did he ask him where you are? Yeah, good question. So Tiruvarur Vaidyanathan was looking for me. He'd heard that I was staying in that room. Um, so that's why he came looking and knocking on that door. But so you were staying in which that I, room. Which I right? realized that makes Vaishal Srikant's response awkward. But, you know. <laughs> Whose bed were you hiding under? Vaishal Srikant's bed. And did he know you were under his bed? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well and truly. Uh, he was my roommate. <laughs> For the three days before, 
his answer suggests that you plotted this scheme prior to um, him arriving into the room. Right, totally, because Michael Srikanth was my roommate, so I told him all about the situation. And he's the one that gestured to hide under his bed when he heard that Thiruvadu by Dinatham was knocking on the door. So oh, when was this? Very... How many years ago? I'll have to do some quick maths because I can't remember. <laughs> I reckon it was about I reckon it was about twenty fifteen. So about when, when did you uh, when did you have this dream about this happening? What was it a few years ago? This dream about <laughs> it happening. <laughs> Can you, yeah, can I you was, and that the, was earlier than that. It was 2013. It was about 2013, plus or minus a year. Can yeah. you describe okay. the, the underside of the bed a bit? Like... <laughs> um, really manky. <laughs> it was gross. It was pretty gross. Anyway, yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I honestly, I don't, I don't remember the underside of the bed. Um, I'm pretty sure it would have just been like bed slats and, you know, that kind of thing. Um, was there um, metal on the side of the bed? Was Were there any metal? rats or cockroaches under there? Ooh. Definitely, definitely. Like this is Cleveland. That's that's like half their population. Did you did you return the clothes at a subsequent point? The clothes. Um, it's interesting you mentioned that because I did lose my luggage, so I also had to return clothes, but they weren't Thiruvaru by Dinathan's. He was just chasing up his Muranga. Whose clothes were they? Um, I actually don't know whose clothes they were, but they must have been very fit and very healthy because they fit, <laughs> fit like a dream. That's the best kurta I've ever worn. Pure silk. What colour? Aquamarine blue. There's a picture of me in that kurta on the Cleveland Aradhana website. I'm, I'm like 97% sure. I don't know what happened, by the way. Ooh. That was one good-looking dude, like, you know... It's been a tough life. Maybe hiding under the oh, bed did that. Ashwin, I reckon. I reckon this is a lie. I think so. I reckon. True. I reckon parts of it are true, but the, yeah. the, the substance. Because I know he I, went to Cleveland often. I briefly recall that he lost his luggage once. I think Bala mentioned that to me a while back. Or oh, Hari or Bala mentioned it to me. Um, and if that didn't happen, then I'm remembering something else. But I reckon I'm going lie. I think so too, because I I think it sounds like the luggage and the boring quota <laughs> might be accurate, but the, it's a bit <laughs> suspicious, especially because uh, if Mash, if he finds out Mashi Shuka knows him, uh, his, his that guy's lie would be pretty <laughs> obvious. <too. laughs> it's like, oh yeah, whoops, sorry, you met my roommate, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they both reckon lie. Bala, would you like to reveal what it really was? It's actually a truth. Oh my! I did spend an hour God. hiding under my Shri Srikanth's bed, hiding from Thiruvaru by the other when he came into the room, um, wow. and my Shri Srikanth tried to avoid himself answering the question, and and like he didn't know what to do. He kind of panicked, which is why he said, "Oh, I don't even know who that is," despite having shared <laughs> a room with him for three days. My goodness! He's me under the bed trying to go. <laughs> Pretty nerve wracking. Yeah, it's awesome. How the funny thing is, almost almost five years later, um, I, I went to an R and room in Melbourne um, of one of Sridhar's um, students, and Maestro Srikant was playing violin um, Bhagavadam for for the concert for the R and room, um, and so I went to say hi to him at the end of the concert, and so he 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 grabs me by the arm, yell, yells literally yells across the stage to the student and goes, you know the bala I was talking about? That's this guy. He was the one hiding under my bed. <laughs> oh, God. You can ask, you can, if you, if you meet him, ask him. So, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely right. the truth. Well done. Good story. All right. yeah, good, story. good stuff, good stuff. All right, so since that was the truth and you both thought it was a lie, bala, you get a sabash. And 40 points. My God. Well done. Oh, God. I'll take it. I need those points. There you go. <laughs> Fantastic. Awesome round, guys. Loved all the stories. They were hilarious. Um, nice one. I have a question before that. Um, what ragam does a diabetic patient have a love-hate relationship with? Kesari? 
Yeah. yeah. That. So How about I'll give you a five out of Well done. That was, yeah, that was well done. Good answer. <laughs> okay. Um, Chakra Vagam. I'm going to oh, throw in another alternative answer. Another one. It's another one. Um, we also it's have the answer, scarcity, but... someone else um, gave me the answer of in Chulini, which I thought was oh, yeah. hilarious. Oh, very good. Hilarious, very good. but it's not a real ragam, so I didn't. But um, yes. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> I couldn't accept it. Anyway, good. Um, how are we going for um, fours? Going back to his old ways is Dilip Ramaswamy at minus 80 points. Falling from grace in second place is Ashwin on minus 10 points. And way out in the lead on a whopping 30 points is Bala Shankar. Now we come to our final round for today. It's the rapid fire round, also known as Durita Kalam Doozies. Each contestant will get 10 questions to themselves um, to be done in as fast as they can. Um, and at the end, we'll see how many points they get and who emerges the true, true winner of today. So first up, we have Ashwin. Ashwin, are you ready? Yep, sure. All right. Let's do this. <clears throat> and start. What is the first Mela Kartaragam? Sarasangi? No. Oh. Number two. What does the G in GNB stand for? That's only a what, 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 what? <laughs> No idea. Sneaky steel there. Um, <laughs> number three. What is the full name for the Swaram Ma 2? Pratimadimam. Correct. Which composer is known for composing Eka Kritis? Number five. What is the collective name of the four Malahari Gitams? Gurandra Sakritis, lesson one. <laughs> no. Um, lesson to one to four. Number, <laughs> <laughs> um, number six. Who was, <laughs> who was the composer with the epithet Mahakavi? Baradeo. Yes. Which instrument is melodic and percussive and uses water? Jaltaram. Well done. What is the only thalam with an anudrutam? Jampa thalam. What is the mudra of Papanasam Shivan? Um, Papanasam Shivan. Okay. No. Papanasam um, Papanasa Shivan Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Last question. How many Aksharas in Mishra Jati Dhruvatalam? How many is Aksharas? Aksharas, so beats. Mishra Jati Dhruvatalam. 23. Correct. Well done. All right. Contestant two, Bala, are you ready for rapid fire? Let's do it. All right. And start. What is the full name for the Swaram Ga 1? Well done. What is the name of the fourth Mela Karta Chakra? Okay, next one. How many aksharas in Tisra Jati Atatalam? Ten. Correct. What was Subaraya Shastri's relationship to Shama Shastri? His brother in law. Muttuswami Dikshita composed the Panchabhuta Linga Kshetra Kritis on which deity? Shiva. Who compiled those Ganamrita Bodhini, Ganamrita Vadnamalika books? Mm, I have forgotten completely. <laughs> Next question. Which deity is an expert Mridangam player? Uh, Nandi Jeswara. What was the song M. Metsuba Lakshmi sang on the UN day at the UN in 1966? Oh man. Bande Mataram. What was the Janaka Ragam of Sri Ranjani? Abogi. Okay. Um, what is the name of the Thalam with 128 Aksharas or beats? Very difficult. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Pressure is tough. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Last round for Dilip. Are you ready, Dilip? Let's go. Let's do it. Okay. Question one. Who was the guru of M.D. Ramanathan? Um, M.D. Ramanathan Senior. Question two. What is the proper name for Adi Talam? Uh, is it Chatushita? 
Chatusha Talam or something. Chatusha Dati something Talam. Tripura Talam. Question three. Who was the Ishta Devata of Andamacharya? Um, Andamacharya Senior. Question four. How many Aksharas in Khandajati Matyatalam? 20. Okay. Question five. What is the full name for the Swaram Da Tu? Um, Prati Devatam. Question six. Who composed the Rama Natakam? Uh, Swami Dikshita. Question seven. What instrument did Baluswami Dikshita introduce into the Carnatic world? The Gatam. More number, <laughs> number eight. Which instrument is Ravana credited with creating? Veena. Nine. Chamaram is the equivalent of which ragam? Um, Chakravakam. And ten, which language are Abhangs composed in? Abhang, uh, I was going to say Hindi or Urdu. Hindi? Yeah. Okay. All right, yeah. good. All right. And now it's time to go to our final points tally. Coming in third place with a frankly questionable minus 140 points is Dilip Ramaswamy. In second place with a respectably realistic minus 10 points, is Ashwin Narayanan. And now, taking home the very first quiz, as well as being the first ever Sabash King, sitting on an unassailable, whopping, unbelievable 10 whole points, is Bala Shankar. Oh.